Well, hello everybody. Dave here. I'm out uh, floating in my pool. It's another scorcher here in Texas, but I'm enjoying it. So I wanted to comment on Elon Musk. So it just came out breaking news that he's going to back out of the deal to buy Twitter. And I think this is so funny. I knew when this Twitter deal first started that he didn't have any plans to buy Twitter. Elon Musk is the P.T. Barnum of our day. He's nothing more but a con man. Now, I know there's people out there that worship Elon Musk like he's freaking Jesus. But Elon Musk, he has a lot of money. And, but he's never created anything. He did not create Tesla. People think that he did. But if you actually do the research on it, ugh. Tesla was already up and running. He was one of the early investors, and then he eventually bought out the people that started Tesla. Elon Musk builds his empire on the backs of geniuses. Elon Musk is nothing but a con man. He's really good at getting people to think that he's smart. Uh, I think that he should be held liable for uh, FCC violations because the way that he manipulates cryptocurrencies and he manipulates stock, you know, he can say a tweet about Dogecoin and the price goes up because there's all of these sycophants that follow him and think that everything that comes out of his mouth is gospel. He is a scumbag. And you may say, well, why, why do you think he's a scumbag, Dave? It's because he's rich. I don't care that he's rich. I don't like a person that can manipulate the stock market that can manipulate people that are trying to do investments and he can screw it up how many people have lost their ass because of things that he said about crypto or about the stock market and all this crap with twitter and i think it's hilarious because all the people on the right think that oh he was going to buy twitter and he was going to make it a free speech platform no he wasn't it's all about him he is a narcissist and everything that he does is about his brand. He is not a savior of the right. He's not a savior of anybody. He hasn't done anything remotely that has helped to change the world. The cars that he create creates don't work properly. Uh, the the panels that you put on top of your house his smart roofs or his solar panels they don't work properly nothing that he's ever created or he didn't create it that he paid to have other smart people create works yes his spacex is pretty impressive it's pretty impressive to rock to watch the rockets land back down on the pads but he doesn't sit there at night figuring out the math he pays geniuses from nasa to do the work he, anything that is created is not by him. He's kind of like Steve Jobs, and Bill Burr has a great bit about Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was the ideal man, and he just said, I want all of my records in this little thing, do it. And all these scientists are out there working on it, and then he comes out on stage, and he doesn't have a big chorus line of scientists behind him. He acts like he's Tesla, you know, like he's controlling electricity. P.T. Barnum, Steve Jobs, and Elon Musk are all the same. They're really good at selling themselves and selling themselves to be like these great idea people when they're not. You know, so Elon Musk, he's backing out of Twitter. I knew this was going to happen and all the people that were, oh, he's doing this for free speech and he's going to put Trump back on and he's trying to save us and all this crap no he's not he doesn't give a crap about you all he cares about is elon musk and he cares about everything that matters to elon musk if it makes him popular it makes him you know he's just narcissistic he loves it when people talk about him being like he's some jesus or something so he's backing out of the twitter deal woo wee who gives a crap people need to quit following Elon Musk and I wish Elon Musk could see this because I think you are a narcissistic psychopath con man
and I don't think you created anything. Go read about Tesla. He didn't create anything about Tesla. You know, he bought Tesla. You know, he's not designing the batteries and sitting there at night in his workshop like Frankenstein designing some monster. He just says, all right, you scientists, get in there and make it. And then I'll go out there and act like, you know, I'll be the head of everything and be the face of it all and be like, look, I'm such a genius. You know, it, Elon, people like Elon Musk go to prove how screwed up the world is. Because you don't have to be smart. You don't have to be creative. You just have to be fake enough and a good enough liar to get the other saps to believe you. What's that old saying? There's a sucker born every minute. Well, people like Elon Musk and P.T. Barnum are really good at exploiting that fact. So, Twitter is nothing more than bird shit on the car windshield. Bye.